Yo, 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 what is up, guys? This is Norm from Daily Fantasy Archive. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the content. Also, hit this notification bell button so you're notified every time we upload, and smash that like button. Let's show some support for the great uh, lineups I've been put out lately. They've been all on fire, NBA, basketball, everything. We may do some hockey uh, come playoff time today. Uh, follow us on Twitter, DFS underscore Archive. You want to see the other lineups and the other tips that I post daily. Um, the lineups that I've been putting out lately that have been on fire, the one I posted earlier, this uh, early slate, is beyond smashing it. It's in the 140s right now. Uh, it's cashing in every format, every contest you could think about. I told you, I posted a line for you guys yesterday in basketball. It uh, completely killed it. Also, the and the MLB line I posted yesterday, cash in some and didn't cash in others. It was a really high cash lineup yesterday. It was a good lineup. It was a great lineup. Drew was only 5% on our pitcher, and he completely went off. Um, DJ let us down, but it was a um, really high cash line the other night. Uh, yesterday, I mean, and um, I'll show you guys the basketball lineup I posted was insane yesterday too. Cash in all formats. Uh, last second, few of you guys told me that Batum wasn't uh, playing as many minutes, so a lot of you guys took the advice and changed around to Gary Harris, and that lineup would have hit 310 and cash in all GPPs. So uh, all you guys have been killing it lately. I'm gonna show you the lineup. What it would have been was uh, 20 bucks. You would have won a big contest, big GPPs, 311. Really good lineup for the awful slate that was yesterday. Anyways, let's get right into tonight's slate. Uh, we've been on fire lately, so let's smash that like button. Uh, the first pitcher we're going to be looking at is uh, Strowman for this main slate. There's not really a good pitcher and a good matchup tonight. This is really this is a pretty hard slate. There's not very many elite pitchers. Uh, Strowman's in the highest Vegas favorites to win tonight. He, Like I said, there's not a lead pitchers and great matchups tonight. Not very many. Uh, but he should come out with the win. And Chase Anderson uh, is pitching for the Brewers. And he is beyond awful. And uh, Strowman will be high on the cash games. So he's your safest play. Uh, John Lackey would be the only other pitcher I would look at. It's a bit more than Strowman. So your lineup's going to be constructed a bit different. Uh, the first, uh, the, back, the catcher I'm going to be looking at tonight is... Uh, is uh, Russell Martin? He uh, the Jays at highest team total on the night, and there really isn't a good catcher tonight besides Real Muto. If you want to pay up, that would be the only other guy I would look at. Like I said, Chase Anderson is awful. He's allowing a .40 WOBA against righties last season, and a homer per 21 batters. And the Jays have a lot of good righties, so it increases Russell Martin's uh, uh, value. If he gets on back, he should easily get home, uh, and he could easily hit a home run even at that tonight. Uh, the first baseman I'm going to be looking at tonight is uh, Freddie Freeman. Got 3.6K. Uh, Kozler has allowed a slugging percentage of five, uh, .591 against left-hand batters and with a high slugging percentage like uh, Freeman over the last two seasons. And he's batting third in a great spot tonight against an awful Miami team. He should easily kill him tonight. Uh, the, first, uh, the second baseman I'm going to be looking at is uh, Jose Altov. He's in a great matchup tonight. Um, he's in a, a he's gonna be high on and he's slugging right now is uh is a point four nine eight in his last uh three hundred and seventy one PAs against right handed pitchers, averaging strikeout rates like uh Galarado. He's an awful pitcher. He's in a great matchup tonight, and he should easily kill S Seattle tonight. Uh, the third baseman I'm gonna be looking at. If you're not paying for Josh Donaldson, I think that is your top dollar guy. Uh, in a very good, in a great matchup also, he, uh, just coming off an injury, he missed one game, he had, uh, tendonitis or something in his right leg, I'm pretty sure, but we're going to be taking Mike, uh, Mike tonight, uh, he's hit, he's hit very well against roadies for years now, and Trake struggles against lefties, and Mike is slugging .490 in his last 280, uh, pitching attempts against right-handed pitchers like Triggs, and he's a good, uh, punt if you're not paying for Josh Donaldson. Batting second against an awful Oakland team. He should uh, either show up against tonight. On shortstop, we're going to go right back to Bogarts. From last night, he was very good for us. Uh, he's slugging point, uh, four, five, seven in his last uh, 360 pitching attempts against uh, bottom-tier right-handed pitchers like uh, like uh, Baltimore's pitcher tonight. And he's at home, so he should easily kill tonight in a great field. The outfielders that I'm going to be looking at is... Uh, Sterling is in a great matchup tonight. Um, he is uh, 
He's uh, batting uh, .500 in his uh, last five games, so he's been very consistent uh, lately. He's in a, a nice step lineup. Uh, Pittsburgh can get their bats going tonight against Cincinnati easy. He's batting second, and he's been very consistent, like I said, and it should easily continue again tonight. Uh, another guy that I'm going to be looking at on outf at an outfield position is Kyle. He's batting first, and he's been amazing this year so far. And he's on the, one of the top offenses in the league. And uh, Brandon McCartney struggles uh, very uh, much against lefties, and it's an easy way to get a piece of this top offense. Like I said, you're going to want a piece of uh, these top guys tonight on uh, this uh, Chicago Cubs uh, lineup. These guys have been killing it and batting in a lot of runs lately, so this is a great spot to get a piece of it. Uh, the last outfielder I'm going to be looking at is uh, Staten. He's in a, also in a great spot tonight. He's batting fourth. Uh, his price is way too low right now, only at 3.6 when he's going against an awful, awful, not elite uh, left-handed pitcher. He kills all lefties. His numbers have always killed all lefties. And Garcia does struggle with giving up home runs. And he hasn't been great so he, uh Staten hasn't been great so far this season. But uh, this is a great spot for him to break out. And he's also slugging 650 in his last 113 pitching attempts against lefties with average strikeout rates. That are not very good like Garcia, so this is also a great spot for him. I uh, left with zero dollars. Uh, I left you a few other players. If you feel the guy's in a better uh, spot, just switch him around, change out the guy. If you want to go real Miato, is also another great play. He's only 100 more than Merrin, but you're going to have to change around the lineup a bit. Josh Donaldson is also in a great spot. There's a few other guys in great spots. John Lackey's also nice tonight. Um, anyways, that'll be the lineup that I'm using for cash. If anything changes, I'll post it on Twitter. So that's why you want to follow us on Twitter, DFS underscore archive. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit the bell notification button. You guys all know the deal. And smash that like button for all the fire lineups I've been giving out lately. We've been killing it. We've been averaging about three wins, one loss on a day. Two wins, one loss over the last few days. If you check the Twitter, Twitter, you'll see the results from all the days. We've been winning pretty much almost every day. We haven't lost money. If you're playing all the slates, uh, thanks for the support, and uh, good luck tonight, guys.